how you would in playing position. The stick is going to be between the index and thumb, all right? But instead of, I, I play, I know I keep interrupting myself, but let me tell you, I play wrists. I play fingers. You don't see my wrists moving at all, right? Okay, and so wrists would be a little more difficult. And of course, you've got three. Jojo's thing, where he's like two down, you're basically playing a triplet, but like two down, one up, triplet. You see, it's sloppy, I admit it. Now, freehand, I'm able to not have any sloppiness, but it does utilize the rim. So I take the snare, strainer, take it off, so the snare, right? All right, I'm almost done. Basically, you're going to do this. If you want to try your seat, you're going to do the little robot action. The elbows are going to be at your side like this. If you don't slouch like me, I can't help it. Right? You're going to be doing the, the A-OK -okay sign like that. That's where your stick's going to be. All right? So just like you're picking up something off the ground. Like you've got to get a quarter that's stuck. I do that all the time. So and then you're going to do this. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Notice my wrists aren't moving or I'm not trying to like... Right? Just do this thing, right? So now it becomes this. One E and up, two E and up, three E and up, four E and up. Faster. Two three E and up, three E and up, four E and up. Down, down, down. And as, the, as you keep going faster, the motion gets small. So I don't know if how many of you have conducted. We always see the like this type of thing. It's the same motion. That little just you know like one, two, three, four, up, bassoons. Here we go, and you coming in. <laughs> here. It starts at the same place it ends, okay? So here it is. Notice I'm not starting. You can see me straight on. I'm not starting like this. If I do and then I drop the stick down, what's going to happen? Somebody tell me. Flam. The, the word flam. Pretty, pretty awesome there because what it did, it will. Flam against the head and the rim. So we're going to get that. It's awesome when my students are at the house and they're like, I got it. I'm like, let's check it out. And they're all... <laughs> <laughs> That's good, you know. And uh, I, I basically remember start off the rim. Because if you start on the rim, the other thing is you have no control of where it's going to end or, or start. Check it out. You can just sit there and spaz out. Seriously, that's cool. That's like the one handed roll type thing. You just sit there and you go up and down. You have the whole body shaking from that. Alright? So, do this. It's going to be one. Try this one. One. Two, head and rim at the exact same time. Three. Now it's on, it actually is pressing against the rim. Now I just rewind it as if we're watching the tape. So three, two, one. Notice I lift back to parallel. I didn't go three, two, one. <laughs> it's, 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 everyone will do that. They'll go three, two, and then they're, they're back to that. So the stick should never look like a, a guy, a person can ride on it, like a seesaw. Not, all right? So here it is. Now it's going to turn from 3, 2, 1, or 1, 2, 3, into just 1, 2. 1, and you're on the rim, and as soon as you hit the head, off the rim in unison. Off. So I just say on, off. On. Off. On. Off. Now check out my hand. I'm not doing any sort of extra fingers. My fingers are just cradled to the side like that. I'm not going. A lot of people get into that, because I know the molar technique. It makes total sense. Pull. This is just like you're just sitting there. You relax. So check it out. One, two, three, four, three, four. Should you hear the rim? Yes. Okay. Are you masking the rim with the sound of the, of the head and using it? Totally. How do I know? Check it out. Hear those eight notes? You got 16 notes? So I'm doing that correctly. Eight notes will equal the double time.
but it's not a lot of pressure either. It's so light what's happening, okay? So I'm going to give you an idea of an exercise using that. Keep the snares off. So what I do is go in regular full stroke here. Don't do it. <laughs> so that's basically a free hand technique. 